We'd like to say good evening to our audience, and tonight we're going to have a taste of the African relationship with the um, community out here in Wallenford. And we have in our studio Blair Donji, who is with the um, Bauer Health Initiative in Cameroon, which is in West Africa. Welcome to our studios, Blair. Thank you. We'd like to have you briefly tell us about Bauer Health Initiative. The Bauer Health Initiative was founded in uh, 2005 by myself and uh, a good friend of mine and fellow colleague, uh, uh, Dennis Richardson. At the time, I was still in Connecticut working for the Yale School of Medicine uh, before I moved to uh, uh, Washington State where I'm now a professor of biology. Uh, the Bioff Initiative was founded because of the need of uh, the people in Bawa and mainly health care need. Bawa, I grew up in Bawa, in this right. rural village of Cameroon, mm -hmm. where I didn't have shoes. I was going around without shoes. So I got infected with all the disease that you can think about, malaria, worms, and so on. And uh, one thing that also uh, was really important to me when I was growing up is because I lost my mother when I was just 12 years old, and she gave birth to my younger sister, and she was bleeding, and she couldn't, there was no hospital in the village. Nobody owns a car in my village, not right. even a bicycle. I so, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so with all that the disease and my mother passing away because of bleeding, which I always think that she could have been safe if there was a real uh, a medical attention to what she, she had. So that's why I came to this idea of starting an organization. And when I met Dennis Richardson in uh, 2005, and discuss with him why, by, uh, what is happening in my village, and uh, he just felt like we should do something. Right. And when he saw Bawa, he saw the village. He came back a ten times or hundred times. The enthusiasm that he has, he right. he had before. Can briefly what how Bawa came into the yes, being. yeah. What has some of the um, most significant successes been for Bawa Health Initiative? Some of the program that we started, like the bed net program to prevent uh, uh, the mosquito bite that malaria. was in malaria. Right. And uh, malaria is one of the leading cause of death in uh, sub-Saharan Africa. In fact, the World Health Organization said that every 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, you have a child dying of malaria in sub-Saharan Africa. Hmm. But if you have a mosquito that costs only $10, you can prevent the contact between the person and the mosquito, right. therefore preventing the transmission of the oh, disease. Yeah. And so that has been one of our very successful program, just distributing those bed net to the people in Bawa and, and three other surrounding villages. Since we started distributing in 2006, we've not had people dying of malaria in Bawa. So you managed to decrease the it, death rate from yes, malaria as a result of this? Of a result of uh, this distribution. Right. We have also managed to decrease the number of people going to the clinic, a, a clinic that is a little bit far away from Bawa, right. with malaria. On our website, we have all the, the data showing how the number of uh, people with uh, this disease has gone down. And one other program that we have is, is the uh, water filters. So we have sun-based water filters that you can take water, the water that you used to drink, muddy water. Mm. <laughs> uh, but at the time, we will allow water to settle to drink. Right. But now they can go to the river, collect that muddy water, put through a sun-based filter. Right. The sun and the rocks will filter the water and come out very clean. I'm very happy and excited about the programs, and we hope to, of course, to continue the program, to maintain them, and to extend to other villages. For, for those of you who are listening and watching right now, um, the cost of the water filter, according to Bless, is $30. Now, out here in the U.S., $30 might not be a big deal, but in a developing country like Cameroon, out in West Africa, $30 means a lot. It's the equivalent of almost, what, three times or even four times that amount. So yes. that contribution is heavily appreciated i am sure you know, yes speaking oh, from definitely. an african perspective yes definitely would you tell us like in the next five years to a decade from now where do you see bawa going with its work on providing health care to not just the people of bawa but the nation of cameroon uh, that's uh, a very good question because we we are always dreaming right. <laughs> so in the next five to ten years we are hoping the clinic being that it should be 
full it should be finished and fully staffed and running and running receiving patients and meeting patients that's a 30 bed clinic in the next five years we should have all the nurses that we need three of them a lab technician a pharmacist and so on and a driver we also definitely need a four-wheel drive ambulance right, <laughs> because right. the roads are muddy. The road is hard to drive on our roads during the raining season. One major goal that we want to see coming is to to start a trust fund around the clinic, at least the the salary of the, the nurses and so on. Uh, so that's our major one of our major goals. Yeah. And for those who are just li- hearing about the Bar Initiative for the first time. Uh, our website is uh, www.bawahealth.org. So if you go to our website, you can donate. We have donation to PayPal. You can also, if you are, if you have Facebook page, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter. So you can join us in whatever media you might be interested in. And of course, joining us in this course is one thing that we really appreciate. Yes. It's been nice having you here in our studios, and we appreciate you know you coming on short notice. Thank you very much. You've been listening to us talking to Bless Donji, the co-founder of Power Health Initiative in Cameroon, a non-governmental organization. Thank you. Thanks.